In this video, I will demonstrate how to create and configure a Jenkins Freestyle job. To create a new Jenkins Freestyle job, click on the breadcrumbs menu, Jenkins, New Item, enter a name for your Jenkins job, and select the Freestyle project, and click OK. This will take you to the configuration page for the Java app job that you've just created. These are the top level configuration options for the job. Let's go ahead and configure each one of these sections. Under the general section, I would like to choose a JDK version. In this case, Java 8. I have already installed two versions of Java on the Jenkins Manage Jenkins Global Tool Configuration page. Next, we need to retrieve the source code for the Java app project. The source code for the Java app project is hosted on GitHub. So I will go ahead and choose the option Git and I will specify a repository URL. Notice that you see an error message. This is because you need to authenticate to the SEM repository. To create credentials, click Add Jenkins. Select the kind. In this case, I will choose SSH username with private key. And I will need to provide a unique ID. So I will specify SEM repo. A description for this credential. And a username. And I will enter the private key directly. And I will leave the passphrase blank, click Add, and now you should be able to see the newly created credentials under the Credentials dropdown. Select this. You'll see that the error has gone away. Next, I'd like to specify a frequency for this build. Now for the purpose of this demo, I will choose Build Periodically, and in here you will need to enter a cron-like syntax. Now, I'd like to specify that I want to build this project every 15 minutes. Now you'll see when the next run would be scheduled for this build. Next, under the Build Environment section, I will choose Add Timestamps to the Console Output. Next is the build section. This is where the bulk of work happens. In this section, you specify the actual steps to compile and build your Java project. For our Java app, I will select Invoke Top Level Maven Targets and choose Maven 3 version and then enter the project goals. I will also click on the Advanced button and specify the location of the POM file. Next, we'll add a couple of steps to the post build actions. The first step is archive the artifacts. Our Java app project creates a jar file and we'll enter the location of this file. The pattern that I've specified here will look for all files with .jar extension recursively under all the target directories from the workspaces root. Next, I will add another step, Ricard Jacoco coverage report, and specify the configuration. For the path to exec files, I'm going to specify star star slash target. Slash tar star dot exec and under inclusions and under exclusion and I will specify the path to the class directories and for the path to source directories. I'll leave it as is, 
And then for the inclusions here, I'm just going to leave it at star star slash star dot java. Next, we'll add another post build action to publish static analysis reports. Click add post build action and then select record compiler warnings and static analysis results. For our static analysis tool, we'll choose spot box and I select spot box. I'll leave everything as default except for the encoding. I will select UTF-8 and then I will add another tool which is PMD. And here too I will just pick UTF-8 for the report encoding. You can add another step to send out email notifications. Uh, you just have to enter the recipient address here. In this demo, I will skip this step. We are done with the configuration. Click Save. All right, and now we are ready to build our Java app. Click on Build Now. And you see the progress here. You can also click on this link to see what's happening. The build is successful. Click on the console output and you can get more information. Let's go back. There's a lot of useful information on this page. The blue ball indicates that the build is successful. You see the build number, timestamps, artifacts, the person who started the build, the corresponding SCM revision, the overall coverage summary, and the warnings reported by your static analysis tools, in this case, Spotbox and PMD. If you run this build again, then you will see the code coverage and static analysis trend all on one single page. This completes our freestyle job demonstration.